The Karak stands as a testament to maritime ingenuity and ambition during the Age of Exploration. This remarkable sailing ship, prominent in the 15th and 16th centuries, played a pivotal role in shaping global trade, exploration, and naval warfare. Its ability to navigate treacherous seas and transport vast quantities of cargo made it the vessel of choice for European powers seeking to expand their horizons. The Carrack's larger size and sturdier construction enabled it to undertake longer voyages and carry significantly more cargo. From the legendary voyages of Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama to the tragic sinking of the Mary Rose, the Carrack's story is interwoven with tales of daring exploration and maritime disasters. Its legacy continues to captivate historians and maritime enthusiasts alike, serving as a reminder of the ingenuity and ambition that characterized the Age of Exploration. The Carrick's design was a testament to the shipbuilding prowess of the era, reflecting a delicate balance between strength, functionality, and seaworthiness. Its hull, typically constructed from sturdy oak timbers, featured a distinctive rounded shape that provided stability in rough seas. The Carrick's towering masts typically three or four in number, supported a complex array of sails. These sails, a combination of square and lateen rigs, allowed the ship to harness wind power effectively, propelling it across vast distances. The Carrick's cargo capacity was equally impressive, accommodating hundreds of tons of goods, ranging from spices and silks to gold and silver. Its high forecastle and stern castle provided elevated platforms for archers and cannons offering a tactical advantage during naval engagements. Life aboard a Carrick was arduous, particularly for the crew responsible for its upkeep. Maintaining a wooden vessel at sea, constantly exposed to the elements, was a relentless battle against the corrosive effects of salt water and marine organisms. One of the most pressing concerns was preventing leaks. The Carrick's hull, despite its robust construction, was susceptible to springing leaks, particularly in rough seas. Crew members worked tirelessly to pump out water that seeped into the bilge. Protecting the hull from rot and marine borers was another constant challenge. Shipworms, notorious for their ability to devour wood, posed a significant threat. To deter these pests, a mixture of pitch and tallow was applied to the hull's submerged portions. The crew's ability to keep the ship seaworthy played a crucial role in its success, ensuring it could withstand the rigors of long voyages. The Carrick's arrival on the maritime scene coincided with a period of unprecedented expansion in global trade. European powers sought to establish direct trade routes to the east, bypassing traditional land-based routes. The Carrick, with its ability to transport vast quantities of cargo, proved to be the ideal vessel for this endeavor. Its arrival in Lisbon laden with spices from the East Indies heralded a new era in global trade. European explorers aboard their sturdy Carracks returned home with tales of distant lands and exotic customs. The Carrick's role in the transatlantic slave trade, however, is a dark chapter in its history. Despite its association with the slave trade, the Carrick's overall impact on trade was transformative, connecting continents and fostering cultural exchange. The Carrick, while primarily a merchant vessel, also played a significant role in naval warfare during the Age of Exploration. As European powers vied for control of maritime trade routes, the Carrack's size, strength and firepower made it a formidable asset. Early naval battles often involved boarding actions where opposing crews grappled hand-to-hand -hand on the decks of their ships. The Carrack's high forecastle and stern castle provided elevated platforms for archers and soldiers. As gunpowder technology advanced, cannons became increasingly prevalent on warships. The Carrack, with its sturdy construction and spacious decks, could accommodate these heavy weapons transforming it into a powerful floating fortress. Despite its eventual eclipse by the galleon, the Carrack played a pivotal role in shaping naval warfare during the Age of Exploration. The annals of maritime history are replete with tales of famous Carracks that embarked on extraordinary voyages. Christopher Columbus's flagship, the Santa Maria, holds a special place in history as the vessel that carried him across the Atlantic in 1492. Vasco da Gama's Sao Gabriel successfully navigated the treacherous waters around the Cape of Good Hope in 1497. Ferdinand Magellan's Victoria achieved the remarkable feat of circumnavigating the globe between 1519 and 1522. The Mary Rose, a flagship of the English Royal Navy, met a tragic end, sinking in the Solent in 1545. The Madre de Deus, a colossal Portuguese carrack, fell victim to English privateers in 1592. These famous Carracks, each with its own unique story, 
embody the spirit of the age of exploration, expanding European horizons and transforming global trade. The Carrick, as a symbol of maritime power and exploration, transcended its physical form to become a prominent subject in art, literature, and cartography. Paintings, book illustrations, manuscripts, and coats of arms often featured depictions of these majestic vessels. Artists sought to capture the Carrick's imposing presence, its towering masts and billowing sails, often juxtaposed against the vastness of the ocean. The Livro das Armadas, a mid-16th century Portuguese manuscript, catalogues various expedition fleets, showcasing detailed illustrations of Carracks. Carracks frequently graced 16th and 17th century maps, illustrating their prevalence in global exploration. Juan de la Cosa's renowned 1500 world map prominently features Carex along various coastlines. The Carex cultural representations reflect its profound impact on the European psyche during the age of exploration, serving as powerful symbols of human ambition and technological innovation. Please like and subscribe to the channel.